Welcome to the screencast. I'm Chris McNabb, and today we're going to be talking about Jasmine, the BDD style JavaScript testing framework. This is episode one. Hello, world. To get started, we need to put Jasmine on your local computer. We are going to be demonstrating and talking to you today about the standalone version. So go to the website pivotal.github.com forward slash Jasmine. If you scroll down toward the bottom of the page, you'll see a download section, and then you'll see this section, this link right here that says the standalone release. This is what we will be using for today's screencast. So go ahead and download that file and unzip it. Once you do, you will see the directory structure on the next screen. To get started, we're gonna take a look at the directory structure. So you'll notice here, you'll see we have the Jasmine standalone 120 directory, and underneath it we have a lib, spec, and source folders. In the terminal prompt, if we do a directory listing ls, you will see the spec and source folders. Don't worry so much right now about the spec runner or the lib directories, we'll cover those later. We're gonna focus first on spec and source. To begin our testing, we are going to need a spec file, so that's gonna go in the spec directory. So we're gonna to touch a file in the spec directory and we're gonna call it hello world spec. And this is JavaScript, so it's gonna end in JS. And now we need to edit this file. For now, we're just gonna paste in the code so we can get rocking and rolling we're gonna save this file and I'll come back later and we'll walk through and explain this in a little bit greater detail. So now we have a spec in place. Let's open it in the browser. So we're gonna run the spec runner. This is what will fire it off. And now you see this test is failing. That's what it's supposed to do because we have a test but we don't have the actual hello world function to accompany this test. So now we need to create the hello world function. Back at the command prompt, in the source directory, we're gonna create a hello world JS file. And then we're gonna edit it and put the code that goes inside. We're gonna save this and exit. We're gonna go back and refresh the browser page to test and we'll see that our test now passes. We have a successful passing test. Now let's go back and take a look at our spec file and our main hello world JS file. Let's break them down and let's take a look at how this code was actually written. So we're gonna go look at the source directory and we're gonna go look at the spec directory. Notice here in source we have hello world JS and notice in spec we have hello world spec JS. So let's open up the spec file. And once we get inside, what I'm going to do is simplify this for the moment. So to create a basic spec file, we use a describe just like in our spec, and then we put in a string of text to name the test, like we can call this hello world test if we'd like to, and then a comma, and then the function designation. Now we're gonna paste in the code we cut out earlier, and this is our basic it block. And so you see in an it block, we have the name of our it test, like we call this says hello, and then a function designation. And then down here we have expect, and then we have something for our expect. So like we put in hello world, which is a call out to our actual JavaScript function, hello world. And then we have the designation to equal, and then what we want it to equal, which is hello world. So now that we have that basic functionality down, let's create another test. So 
So now we're going to edit this and let's change this text right here that will say contains hello and then down here we're going to change this to say to contain hello. So what we're going to do is we're just going to check to see if this contains the word hello. Let's save it. We'll go back and rerun our test runner by refreshing the browser and you'll see now that we in the hello world test we have says hello and contains hello we have says hello and contains hello remember just to clarify if I remove this the minimum you need in a spec is a describe block with a hello world with the name of the test in double quotes like you see here and then function and then inside there you will place your it blocks that will perform some of the different tests now of course this is a basic introduction Jasmine has many more features and functionality on the site at pivotal.github.com forward slash Jasmine for which you can take a look and dive a little bit deeper one of the things I want you to take note is the hello world function right here is exactly what matches the hello world function name here. So they are tied together between the spec and the main hello world JS file. Quick before we wrap this up, I want to take a look at the actual spec runner file, specrunner.html. And I want you to notice this section right here and this section right here, which points out the spec file and the source file that are actually being loaded. As a project grows, you will add more specs and more source function files here in specrunner.html. Then every time you run your test suite in the browser, all of your tests that are specified in that specrunner.html file will actually execute. That's it for this video, but join us again in the next screencast where we will be covering more matchers, additional matchers that are available in the Jasmine test suite.